Hi, everybody. I'm Lawrence for The Developer Show. And this is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. Let's start with Android. And a strength of Android is its diverse ecosystem of devices. Brought to market by more than 24,000 distinct devices and used by billions of people around the world. Since the early releases of Android, we've invested in our Android compatibility program as a way to ensure that devices continue to provide a stable, consistent environment for your apps. The Compatibility Test Suite, or CTS, is a key part of the program. It's a collection of more than 2 million test cases that check Android device implementations to ensure developer applications run on a variety of devices and enable a consistent application experience for users. While most CTS tests are written by Android engineers, we now know that app developers have a unique perspective on actual device compatibility issues. So to enhance CTS with better input from app developers, we're adding a new test suite called CTSD that is built and run by developers like you. Check it out on the Android blog in the links below. And if you're an Android developer, you've probably heard about Jetpack Compose. Well, on the Firebase blog, they're continuing a series of articles on building an app using Jetpack Compose and integrating other services such as authentication. This week's post goes in depth on how to integrate Crashlytics into your Jetpack Compose app quickly, easily, and with very little code. Then, once your users encounter a crash, which hopefully is never, but we don't live in an ideal world, uh, the app will upload details about that crash to Firebase, where you can analyze what went wrong and fix it. All code and details are on the Firebase blog. Go check it out. This week also saw the release of Chrome 104 Beta, coming with new features such as media query syntax, region capture, and a whole lot more. So for example, region capture allows you to crop parts of the screen after a screen capture so you can focus on what's important. And media queries enable responsive design and the features that enable testing things like a minimum or a maximum size of a viewport. All this and more on the Chromium blog. Go check it out. Kickstart and CrowdSource are teaming up for Kickstart Round D on July 10th. Kickstart is a Google coding competition designed to help you grow your skills and get better acquainted with competitive programming. CrowdSource is a fun, easy way to contribute data to artificial intelligence projects at Google. In Kickstart Round D, you'll solve problems centered around CrowdSource tasks. So join in the fun and learn about CrowdSource while you're competing in Kickstart. Mark your calendar for the round on July 10th and register at g.co slash kickstart. And I'd like to wrap up this show with a call out to all the ethical hackers and folks interested in cybersecurity. The time has come again for Google's Capture the Flag competition. Regardless of your background, would love you to join in. So sign up to expand your skill set, meet new friends in the security community, or even just watch the pros in action. How cool is that? The competition kicks off on July 1st, and it runs through July 3rd. So registration is now open at captureTheFlag.withgoogle.com. Check it out at the link below. To learn more about all of this week's stories, make sure to check the description box below for all of the links. And please remember to like, subscribe, share, and stay safe. I'm Lawrence for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Oh, I love this thing. If this ever goes missing, you'll know it was me. <laughs>